Who? Probably the one who's gonna kill me. Maeve and Dolores are pitted against one another in a game of cat and mouse. They barely had any scenes with each other. We very carefully kept them apart, knowing that they were gonna collide with one another. So when we got them together, the sparks would fly. It was a surprise when Tanny and I realized that we were actually going to be fighting this season because we've sort of been waiting to team up. Hey, we coming? Take two. And I thought, oh, of course, they're gonna have to have the battle of the century. I really love doing fight choreography because I'm a black belt in Taekwondo and I haven't been able to showcase any of this on the show yet. And action! Our doubles are absolutely incredible. She makes it look too easy. But really, you're seeing Tanya and I doing about 80 or 90% of it. And the stunt performers come in for running up the side of a wall or wire work, things like that. Working with Evan, she's my daily inspiration. We have such an amazing friendship. My main concern was that I would either feel too bad about fighting her or I would laugh. But we both really gave it our all, and not only are they fighting each other, they're fighting with technology that they've hacked. We're gonna place this drone with the big CG gunship. And then we have a tiny little GoPro drone from Dolores' rifle that races around it. These drones will be kind of seeking each other out, and the sniper rifle will be trying to get a hit. With filming drones, we have a pilot operating the drone. We have usually a camera operator and a DP and a director. If you can contrive it, if you can get Maeve, if you're you and I'm Maeve and there's C, yeah. you, you, you make that line up and connect that as much as you can, right? Yeah. That'd be very cool. OK, here we go. All right, let's go. Yeah. A lot of coordination is put into play once all the steps line up, and we get some pretty epic footage. Unfortunately, Dolores does lose an arm at the end. Maeve sort of gets the upper hand on Dolores, no pun intended. For that particular shot, it's a combination of practical special effects. Her arm was intact. We set up the arm to explode by itself, and then we will paint it out and put in the actual arm explosion. Typically, when we blow a limb off, we bring out a chroma key blue glove or something that we can more easily paint out and also it helps the actor remember that there's not supposed to be something here that, that should otherwise interact with the scene. She's very uh, worse for wear by the end of it. She's literally crawling to the next part of her mission. You've died many times, but this will be your last. In so many forms of fiction, the women are pitted against each other by forces outside of who they are. The system that is corrupt, and the best way to ensure a corrupt system's survival is to take the good people within it and turn them against each other. Hey, it's Lisa, stay with me for more on TV. Do you know who the top three highest paid TV stars are? Well, Johnny Galecki from The Big Bang Theory with 25 million, Jim Parsons also from The Big Bang Theory with 26.5 million, and coming at number one is Sofia Vergara from Modern Family with 42.5 million. Hmm, now who is your favorite TV actor or actress? Now also, do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself. The link is in the description.